In this lesson, we are going to learn how to compile and run a Java program in Eclipse. And also in Eclipse, we have concepts like build and clean. We will learn what are those. Here I have Eclipse already installed. If I go to help about Eclipse ID, I have Eclipse ID for enterprise Java and web developers. In case you have different version of Eclipse, there might be slight differences. But I don't think that would be a problem if you follow this lesson. Let's get started. First, we will create a project. In case you don't have Eclipse set up, I have a detailed video on that. I will add the link of that video in the video description. So before creating any project, first thing you need to check, you need to go to Window, Preferences. Here on the left hand side, if you click on Java, there is a section Install JREs. Generally what happens, Eclipse comes with a bundle JRE. Here I can see this particular version has Java 17. But what I want to do, I want to use the JDK or Java that is installed in my system. In my system, Java is already there at a particular location. And instead of using this bundle JDK or bundle JRE, I would use my own JDK. Let me add that JDK over here. Click on add standard VM. Next. Here it will ask for the JDK location. I'm going to provide that in my system. This is the location where my JDK is present. I'll just copy this location, go back to Eclipse and paste it over here. So Eclipse automatically provides a JRE name over here, JDK 1.8.0-202. Click on Finish. And now I'm going to select this one instead of this default bundle JRE. Click on Apply and Close. So my JDK is properly set. Another thing we need to check you can go to window again, preferences, and here if you scroll up, you can click on compiler. If you see by default JDK compliance is set to 17 as the bundle JDK was 17. What I want to do, I want to change it to 1.8 because my JDK is 1.8 and click on apply and close. Now we will create a project, file, new. If you get Java project here, fine. If you don't get, no problem, go to other type java over here and you will get this java project click on next provide a sample name just below under the jre section you can see three options this is the jre provided by eclipse i don't want that this is the jdk that i provided select this here under project layout it is one important option you can see two things use project folder as root for sources and class files or create separate folders for sources and class files. By default, this is selected. Just keep this in mind. This is important. We'll come to know why later on in this video. Click on next. Just check whether the libraries are properly set or not. If I go to libraries here, I can see my JDK is selected. So we are good. Click on finish. Now, this project is created. It has this source. This is the source folder, SRC. Right click. I'm going to create a new class under a package. So click on class. First, let me provide a package name, then provide a class name. It should be camel case. Here you can check this. It will generate the void min function for you. Click on finish. Let me type some code over here. I'm just going to print a line with hello world. So type sys out, control space. The code would be generated. Maybe I'm going to add hello world, control S, right click over here, run as Java application. Now you can see our Java code, the first Java program has run and in the console it has printed hello world. So far it is fine. But where I am compiling this, if you are new to Java, generally what happens, there is a Java compiler which is Java C. With that compiler we create bytecode and then we run the Java command and the program runs. But I don't see any dot class file anywhere, right? So where is that? It is here within this project but we cannot see as we are using package explorer what i can do i can go to window show view click on other type navigator just select this open so it is here i want to drag it over here just beside package explorer let me try fine now expand this so here whatever view we had here under package explorer we can have a directory like view and we can see few more directories like dot settings bin this is the place where actually eclipse stores the dot class files you can see over here 
right now if you remember during project creation there was a section where eclipse was asking whether we should generate the dot class files within the source directory or a different directory so we kept it default as a different directory so bin is the directory where all this dot class files would be created now when we create a java program automatically eclipse compiles that and creates this dot class file and when we try to run eclipse uses this dot class files and runs the program that is the way in that case what is the use of this if you go to project there are multiple options clean build all build project build working set build automatically by default build automatically is selected what happens it will compile your java code that is it will build automatically it would compile automatically to this bin directory so that when you run this code your dot class file is ready now how to understand that okay that it is really compiling my code and it is really generating my dot class files what i can do i can uncheck this so automatically it won't create the dot class file and let me delete this directory total dot class files are gone now if i just do a save nothing is happening right if i just press enter maybe add some line maybe another hello if i go here i am clicking on build project now you can see the dot class files again it is created now i am going to clean this if i do a clean every compiled classes whatever is there inside this bin directory will be gone let me click over here click on clean you can see it was gone but again it came back why i am showing you project clean if you carefully look at this option if there are multiple projects that's why i have clean all projects i don't need that i just clean for this particular project only fine here it says start a build immediately meaning if i clean immediately it will start the build meaning the compilation so when i clean automatically it is creating this dot class file if i uncheck this let's clean see this entire directory structure of compiled classes is gone but we don't want that right if i want to clean at the same time i want to build the project also so i'll go to this screen again i'll keep it and if i select this project clean option is there it will clean what was there but it will recompile it will initiate the build process so this is the function of eclipse clean and build although this build and clean process while working in a java project is there a very common thing very useful thing generally we keep this build automatically or we disable it but at the core inside eclipse how it works even many experienced java developers don't know that so knowing these things would be very handy in the longer run i hope this lesson would be useful for you in case you really like it i would request you to subscribe this channel like this video and share this lesson as much as possible in that case it may reach to larger audience thanks a lot for your time have a nice day